Move to Amend is a multiracial, multiethnic coalition of groups and individuals coming together from across the country to demand a constitutional amendment to abolish in its entirety the illegitimate court-created idea that a corporation is a person with inherent unalienable constitutional rights and that money is speech. These are two illegitimate doctrines created by the Supreme Court that allow the wealthy to steal our sacred right to self-government and, more importantly, utilize the legal system to legalize the theft. And corporate personhood or corporate constitutional rights is not just a legal technicality. It means corporate lawyers can go into court and overturn democratically enacted laws. Public health laws and public safety laws get overturned. Environmental protection laws get overturned. Worker safety laws get overturned. And yes, campaign finance laws get overturned. So it's super important for your viewers to understand this is not just about overturning Citizens United. It's not as if we had a functioning democratic republic before one single Supreme Court decision. We've got to actually build a broad, deep, educated, and militant social movement that is actually demanding real democracy in the United States of America. Remember that Move to Amend did not even form until 2010. Today, we're about to click over 300,000 ordinary Americans who are participating. And they come from Maine to Southern California, from Washington State, all the way to Florida and Key West, and everywhere in between. I've never been part of anything that was so broad and so deep and has grown so fast. We have helped 500 communities pass resolutions in support of the Move to Amend proposition, including here in Los Angeles, of course. But it's not just in progressive areas. We've done so in Republican-dominated areas. We've done so where the majority of voters are moderates. We've done so in every type of political jurisdiction you can imagine in this country. And we've done it through the resolution process. We've done it through the Citizens Initiative process. And we've put it on the ballot 28 times in this country. And every single time we put it on the ballot, we win. If we had the political will, we could create publicly financed elections right now. Uh, they exist in Maine. They exist in Arizona. They exist in pockets all across the country. The sad reality is that the principal liberals have been lied to and sold out by the ruling elite of the Democratic Party who are actually playing serving the interest of Wall Street America and the big bankers, just as surely as principled conservatives have been lied to and sold out by the ruling elite of the Republican Party, who are serving the interest of Wall Street and the big bankers. So one thing that we've seen at Move to Mend is that this is a transpartisan issue. It's not nonpartisan because we don't say check your politics or your party label at the door. We say, no, we welcome you, whether you are a Democrat, a Republican, a Green, a Libertarian, a Moderate, and an Independent, because by doing so, we allow people to be who they really are and find the common ground that really exists around opposition to corporate constitutional rights and money is speech. And at the end of the day, if we're going to actually mandate publicly financed elections, we have to amend the Constitution because the court has said that you cannot mandate publicly financed elections, that you can only entice candidates to do so, and they allow wealthy individuals to spend unlimited amounts of their own money, and any law that tries to restrict a candidate from spending her or his own money is unconstitutional, according to the court, which is why, again, we need to move to amend. Marlene, I personally am on the road about one-half to two-thirds of my life on behalf of the Move to Amend Coalition, and I quit a very successful law practice to dedicate myself full-time to this movement. And I say that not so you'll feel sorry for me or your viewers will feel sorry for me. I say it so that you and your viewers will understand how seriously I take this movement, how seriously the Move to Amend organizers take ourselves. I travel the country, and I'm not alone. Ashley Sanders, a, a young woman in her 20s, is going to college campuses. Daniel Lee, an African-American uh, in his 30s, is also traveling. George Friday is traveling. We have 12 people who are committed at the national level who are sweeping uh, the nation. So if you'd like to actually get a Move to Amend person to come to your community, if you would like to get a Move to Amend person to come to your community, call us, write us, get in touch with us because we want you to be part of this movement.